a kingdom united in grief, solemn and dignified, a fitting tribute to a man who served his country so selflessly. Here at Buckingham Palace, the stream of well wishes continued throughout the day. Oh, so, so sad. Really, really upsetting. Um, been crying on and off all day. Uh, yeah, just such, such sad news. A divisive, amusing, difficult, entertaining, impressive man, I would say. Because it's happened during the pandemic, it's almost hit a little bit harder um, because I think everyone has been at their low point throughout the pandemic and I think everyone's looking for that glimmer of hope. Not far from the palace, just a few miles across the capital, the bells of St Paul's chimed their special tributes. Prince Philip left his home in London at the start of the pandemic. Nobody knew then it would be for the last time. He drew his last breath here in Windsor, the castle, his buttress against the pandemic. It's so sad. I don't know how the Queen is going to cope because he's been there for her throughout. You've got somebody in the background that's been supremely supportive to the Queen. And I think that's the thing that matters. He looked very frail when we saw him last time coming out of the hospital, but we all wish that he lived to do his, see his 100th birthday. Prince Philip might not have been the most popular royal, but his death has been marked with an outpouring of spontaneous grief a recognition of his devotion to his queen and country. And this was witnessed across every part of the country, including here in Wales. I heard it on the radio and I was just like, oh my gosh, I messaged like my whole family um, this morning and um, everybody was just shocked. I was really sad. I, I really like the guy. He's got such a lot of character. To be honest, I hadn't really followed him that much until I saw him on the crown. Oh, but he, he contributed so much to that and I love mm. his energy. So, yeah, really sad to hear that. I just saw, like, an Instagram post and it was just, like, Prince Philip have died, nothing else. Yeah. And, like, I was quite... I wasn't... We were saying we weren't yeah. surprised because he was quite old, but obviously it's always sad. Yeah. And, like, for the Queen, because they're married for so long. But taken back, really, you know. I know he's been ill for some time, but, uh, yeah, she's going to find... The Queen's going to find it very hard. In Northern Ireland, not everyone will mourn a royal death but even many of those who don't will acknowledge the loss felt by their neighbours who do. He was an absolute gentleman. I'm devastated, to be honest with you. Very sad. Yeah, he's a great man, great man, yeah. No doubt. But uh, sad, you know. A good man, a very good man. Yeah, it must be good when he was married 70 years, <laughs> you know. He was the Duke of Edinburgh. Prince Philip's love affair with Scotland spanned eight decades, beginning as a child at school and staying with him until the end. On his death, the Scots returned that love. Quite often uh, raises a laugh for maybe about the wrong reasons, but a good, yeah, a good ambassador, let's see. I yeah, just a feeling of shock and, and disbelief. I was walking in the in Holyrood earlier when they were lowering the flag and it was a real a moment to take a moment and, and reflect on a, on a life of service and duty. It's sad. I mean, he gave us 70 years good service, so, yeah, it's devastating. The prince enjoyed a full life, but horses were one of his greatest loves. At Aintree, silence fell to mark the passing of one of racing's greatest supporters. What a great man he's been for the country, and I think we all owe him an enormous debt for, you know, how he's stood by Her Majesty herself, and, and I know how much she appreciated all that he did, but he's going to be sorely missed by an enormous amount of people. Buckingham Palace has asked for people not to gather at royal residences and to respect COVID restrictions. But that may prove difficult. This is the challenge facing the authorities now. We've never been in a position like this before, a royal death in the middle of a global pandemic. It's absolutely natural for people to want to come here to pay their respects. Prince Philip himself did not want to fuss, and the palace is concerned about mass gatherings. But there is a real need for so many 
to honor a life spent in selfless service to his country.